Stan, 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 oh man. The rat Ratchuru is at an all-time high. I don't know if he's the most gullible or he's just extremely rich. My inmate lover will get half a million zwollers inheritance. If he kicks the bucket, well, when he kicks the bucket. That's what he's going to, she's going to get. And he has, she has like two or three other children. I think it's two other children. They'll get the same slice as this chick. <laughs> Madness. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Oh, just when you think it can't get any worse, it just gets worse. More and more worse. 30, what is it? 39 and 65. My mother used to always say that eat all your food, there's children starving in Europe. Anywhere? I need to run that back. What? This guy said what? His mother used to say what? My mother used to always say that eat all your food. Eat all your food. There's children starving in Europe. There's children starving in Europe. For all the money you have, okay, maybe that's the thing that you used to say back, back, back in the day when you, when you didn't have a lot of money. But for all the money you have, please travel, go to Europe, and figure out that that is not the country. That's what well, I was about to say country. This is not the continent that you should be uh, using this <laughs> this type of example for. That that is that is a weird. I've never heard that before. It's always Africa. But to be honest, there are children starving in Europe. To be honest, to be very honest, there are a lot of children starving in Europe and the States and Australia and everywhere and Asia and whatever. But yeah, that's just a weird thing. In any case, I heard that and I was like, Europe? I guess she was right, but Europe, okay. okay. I don't know if I'm a good catch or not, but I... You don't know if you're a good catch or not. I need you to have a seat, uh, sit down with uh, the auntie. Um, because that guy will just get you to a, a thousand real quick, real quick, because he's humble, but he's, he, he keeps, he, he, he talks about his humbleness in a way that makes him not humble, humble, makes him, his humble card is revoked because he talks about being humble, but uh, in any case, um, this guy's asking or saying, stating that he doesn't know what he has to offer. That's a shame. That's really a shame. This man does not know what he has to offer. I'm just I'm just thinking if you're if you're trying to be in a relationship and you're in it but you don't really know what you have to offer then how secure is your stance in the relationship anyway? Because when another person comes and we always know we, we can we can always tell. We can always see what somebody else has to offer. If another young hot thing comes about, at least we know what he that person has to offer is their youth. So then maybe they don't have your money, but they'll have your youth. And you'll see that. You'll know that. So then already you're like, mm, now I'm scared. Now Lisa might just leave me because ooh, there's this new person who is who has this over me. You need to know when you're in a relationship, whether you're rich, poor, high value, high caliber, whatever. You need to know what you bring to the table. What do you have to offer? And it doesn't always have to be degrees or money. But those are things too. But who are you? What makes you that amazing person that this person should spend the rest of their life with? You need to know. You need to answer that question for yourself before you can you can be comfortable in a relationship because this doesn't sound like a good basis. You offer certain foundation. advantages to somebody. Me. You offer certain advantages. He knows that's what he knows. The, the, the guac. The guac will help him out. But other than that. At least they've only been together two or three days. How were they only together two or three days? They were together two or three days and then she had to go back to prison. So this guy's known this chick for two or three days. He doesn't even know if it's two or three. I mean, I think once it crosses ten, you you, you wouldn't remember. But this guy doesn't even remember what it was two or three. I think that's interesting. But in any case, they had some amazing time together. And then she went to prison. But I would ask Lisa to marry me. No question about it. I can't put a time frame on it right now. My daughters are pretty close to Lisa's age, but uh, they wouldn't like her if she was any age. They're two daughters. They think that she's using me for money. Of course. I get it. You don't know? Uh, I just hope you know I have nothing but good intentions for us. I have nothing but good intentions for us. I wonder if, if you're in um, a genuine relationship, you'd have to disclose some of these things. Like, you'd have to right out say i have good intentions for us 
seems a bit misplaced if everything is kumbaya and going groovy why the heck do you need to say that i don't know if i've discussed it with her or not as far as my inheritance each one of my children would get 25 percent, and lisa would get 25 percent. that'd be over 500,000. so that should carry her through this guy this guy probably knows look i'm an old man also not so so old but you know he's old uh enough the wife has sadly passed he needs a companion and he's going to use his money to buy it. he's worked all his life he made his first million when he was 40 years old he's worked hard now he has the money and he's going to use that to offer himself a comfortable life he already has a comfortable life in terms of he's retired He's fit. He goes golfing and all that. Or is it tennis that they really need? I think it was tennis with his friends. He's fit. He's got the dough. And so everything's paid off. Everything's paid for. Anything he wants will be paid off and paid for. Now all he needs is a companion to share it with. And if that money can provide him that too, just like it could provide him a new kitchen if he needed it, or new flooring, he can just buy himself a bride. He can just buy himself a companion. So... He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly that that is what he's good for in this relationship. He knows it. It, does, it doesn't have to be like that. It's not all women who are like that and who only want you for that. But I think he's very much realizing that that's what, that's what the end game is here of Lisa. Can't wait to see you and be back in your arms again. I love you, baby. You have a good night. Good night, sweet cheeks. Bye-bye. Boy, am I lucky to have a girl like that. And I want her feeling confident, sexy, pretty, of course. So now he's going to buy her wig because, or wigs actually, because she said she feels like she looks like a boy or she feels, she says she looks like a boy. She says she looks like her brother or whatever. Don't know what happened to her in prison, but she says she does not look, she, she I guess, doesn't look like the pictures anymore. And she's feeling insecure about that. And he's like, oh, how could you feel insecure? Da, 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 da. So in order to make things okay, in order to make her feel okay, he's going to buy wigs wigs that i don't know who is going to install them but if something doesn't happen with these wigs everybody will know they're fake and she's not gonna feel the eggs and all that stuff that you're wanting her to feel she's just gonna feel horrible because these wigs they're not the business i don't I like what i'm looking for okay these pictures this with this one and the one that it looks like he's holding her hostage he has only these about three pictures and he loves to show them to everybody show them to his friends at the tennis court he's showing them to this random wig lady yeah this is what she looks like and showing the pictures of her looking like she's being held hostage and he's so proud of these pictures honestly we're gonna see these pictures like five thousand times he said no idea i'm getting her these wigs so with all three units today well, let me see if he shows the other no one. idea no. i'm getting her these wigs so with all three units today um your total is going to come to thirteen hundred dollars so are you going to be the sugar daddy or the boyfriend uh, saying, which, oh okay both. <laughs> both. All right, I, get it. I like this thing. see that's what i was talking about with who the auntie i think it was the auntie yeah i was saying that you know he's lavishing this what's what's her name nicole he's lavishing her with all these gifts and so that's going to be the foundation. That's not what she's going to be used to. Just like Destiny from last season. Okay, you start with that. A whole bed full of clothes. And the money is there stacked up. And this and that and that and that. Everything. These men, they go all out. Nail polish, face masks, lipsticks, everything. Foundation, everything, everything. Right? You got all that stuck. This, this girl has got it even... Wow. New iPhone, AirPods. What? Like she... Wow. Whew. Plus the 3,000. Wow. Wow. But if you can't keep doing that, when the new iPhone comes out and you're not going to have money to pay because it was like a one-off, she was kadazo because this is the premise of which your whole relationship started. But with this guy, at least he has money. He has real money. He has money, money, money. Money, 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 money. So he will be able to provide. But now the question is going to be, is she going to be really satisfied in this relationship, right? Because he's, he's old. He's older. He's older. And that's just what it is. And there's other people out there. So some of these chicks will not hang around. If he doesn't even know what he has to offer her. I mean, why should she, why should she bother? If you can't see it, how is she supposed to see it? How will she see it? Yeah. I'm a millionaire because of a lot of lucky breaks. I have a uh, fascination with the stock market. 
I made my first million by the time I was 40. So now she's calling him and I think she, he's even still somewhere there at the wake place. And he's, she's saying, what is she saying? She's talking about her brother, right? Who has also been in and out of prison or whatever, apparently, allegedly, supposedly. So he was eluding and fleeing from the police. And I mean, I guess he went on a high speed chase. So, oh my gosh. Yes. His bond is 30,000. Supposedly, she doesn't know whether to help him or let him do the time. You see the tricks that she's playing. Obviously, she wants this guy to just 30,000, just like that. You see, she said all that. And a few seconds later, she's like, at the end of the day, it's only money. Easy come, easy go. For who? For who? For who? For who? Easy come, easy go. For who? Have you ever had the type of money that this stand guy has? Let me ask the question. Have you ever had the type of money that this guy has? Do, do Have you ever had? Or do you have at the moment? Do you even know what to do to get to that amount of money? Easy come, easy go. Says who? Do you know how this guy suffered to get this amount of money? Do you know? Or you don't know? And you're just talking even though he has so much money the way this woman is talking about money will give me the heebie-jeebies for real i would run run like the way this man has money he could get any woman he wants for real younger even than this chick because he has the money but at least get you one who really respects you for you who doesn't who's not interested in milking you dry Who's interested in just having what you have and share that life together and just live comfortably. There are people like that too. They're somewhat gold diggers, but they're not going to milk you dry. They have respect for you. They'll actually even help you build your empire even to higher heights. If it is the stock market, they'll get into it. Into it. They'll also help you. They'll also do research. They'll also whatever, whatever. They'll, they'll be on your side. They will be on your team. But they're not going to just milk you dry, get as many iPhones and things, and then le bounce. No sense at all, not knowing that, oh, these iPhones, they get older. Oh, these clothes, they fade, they get smaller, they shrink, they whatever, whatever. Right? But what you've got here is somebody who is saying, ah, but what is money? Easy come, easy go. As if she knows what she's talking about. Unless, hey, I stand corrected if it turns out that she's from a millionaire background. But she's living this inmate life. Her brother... Is living this inmate life millionaires don't statistically go to jail like that like that often because they have it all they don't need to steal they don't need to do interesting things they're not frustrated and start fights and things like that because they have the money they have that security in life most of the time so yeah this is this is wild easy come easy go Ugh, disgusting yeah no, that's tough well and I hope that's all he's going to say. That's tough. I hope he's just going to leave it there. Well, that's tough. <laughs> tough. And just be like, yeah, okay, let's let's do the lesson part. Let's let's just teach him a lesson. Like you yourself suggested, like you yourself said. Or were you blaming me when you said that? Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's a shame. It's really a shame. But I hope they wisen up. I hope these people wisen up at some point. They rarely ever do. But in any case, we can learn lessons from these shows and the way these people do th their things. So, whatever. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit thumbs up, on the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know anything. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be, hmm, at this point, probably next week, somewhere there. Um, yeah. In the meantime, make time. For glorious life, it's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Stay tuned. I'll be doing more and more of these Love After Lockup reviews pretty much every single weekday. So, yeah, stay tuned. And God bless. Take care and have a wonderful weekend.